Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Just Be with Mahesh. Today we'll see how to implement an auto expiry uh, concept which we are going to get with a service account key. So we had seen basically uh, a previous video where it was an interview question uh, where I had mentioned how is it possible to set an expiry date for your service account. The answer was yes and I also mentioned as a follow-up video I'm going to show an implementation how this can be implemented. So today we'll see how we can basically have this feature enabled. So if you set the expiry date, definitely it's going to auto expire. You don't need to go and delete the service account and you can keep the service account. Sorry, you don't need to delete the service account key and you can retain the service account key like what you see in the screen. This could be helpful for audit purpose, like when the service account was created, when it got expired, let it be there and anyway it's not going to incur any cost basically so this could be helpful for audit purpose so let's get into the implementation all right uh, we are in our documentation page so this is the official documentation i'll put the link in the description and if you see there is a feature which is going to come soon where we can definitely set some expiry time on the service account but this is in preview so if you want to get access you have to click on this uh, google form and you have to fill it um, only if you are having a, if you are part of an organization, you can get access to it. So I don't have basically a, uh, an account which is something attached to an organization. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this option, upload public keys to the service account. So for service account, so where I'm going to use OpenSSL uh, and generate a private key and a public key. Now, if you see, there is a date option. So I'm going to use one day as the option so that I can generate a service account which is going to expire tomorrow. So something like the one which we had seen in our previous video. So let's go ahead to our GCP console, uh, Cloud Shell, sorry. So this is the command, I've already pasted the command. So the key highlight of this is day one. Only one day is what it's going to be uh, having the service account key afterwards it's going to auto expire so hit enter i will have basically uh, two files a private key and a uh, public key now what we need to basically do is we have to upload basically our uh, public key into our uh, gcp console so where you are creating a service account you service account key you have to basically upload this and you have to basically go and generate the uh, the key.json in a similar fashion so let me show you how it can be generated so let's just wait for this so this is my public key content copy this go to your service account section so we have one two three so um, three active two expired i'm going to do this one so in our last demo we had then uh, we had done basically create new key that is not going to be an option because that's always going to generate a service account a key which you cannot expire it basically you have to delete it now the option which we are going to see is upload an existing key so if i click on this option basically it is going to ask uh, either upload your public key certificate or paste it i can just paste this so upload it so once i upload it i'm going to get a key id so this is what you see it uh, where's that the one which i uploaded this one uh, not this one sorry my bad today is uh, february 15th so this is the one which i have uploaded it it's going to expire tomorrow makes sense this is our key id now what we are going to do is uh, usually when you generate a key it's going to be in a json format we are going to create uh, the json key in the similar format using our private key how do we do that so i just need to open up my private key so this is my key format and it is basically separated by a new line character. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in one single line. So you can do it in any fashion you want. I'm going to use my notepad plus plus to do this. I'm just going to show the trick. So I have opened my notepad plus plus. So this is the private key. So if I basically do control uh, H, I will replace all new line character with empty. So I have put this extended. Uh, so just remove this now slash r that's it folks we have one single line so i'm just going to copy this and go back to this page where it is going to show service account 
this is the format right usually when we create a service account key this is going to be the format so i need to mention the project id all those things so here is where i have to mention my private key so paste it all good sorry uh, paste it okay so i should not have copied this entire stuff just a minute i'm just going to refresh it so because in the in the this thing there is already public beginning begin private key uh, end private key we just only need to mention the actual stuff here so so i'm going to copy only this portion paste it in the private key uh, section good the next part is the project id which i can get it from the url so done the key id so which is nothing but the one which we will see it here so let me just click on this so this is the key id so add it done so service account key uh, sorry service account email id this is the one And lastly, the client ID, which is this one. Done. So we have almost got the same format how a key dot JSON is going to be generated usually. So when you click on this uh, option, the same format is what we have got. It's just a matter of going and testing it out. So I'll go to my cloud shell and basically try to create a, a file called something like live uh, live demo dot key dot json something like that and i'll show you how it works so let me just open my cloud shell so i have opened my cloud shell editor i'm just going to create a file something like live hyphen demo dot key dot json so paste the key which we have generated so good now let's go ahead and try it so uh, before i activate that service account if i just run this gcloud auth list it's going to show my current email address so now i have this file so it's just a matter of me going and activating that service account gcloud auth activate uh, service account so the key is this one and so if the stuff is all properly created, we have the service account activated. So now if I do gcloud auth list, you should be able to see it is currently the active one is rotate hyphen key. That is a service account. So after tomorrow, uh, this one, if I go and see uh, at the specific time where I have generated the service account, it's going to expire automatically, meaning I don't need to go and uh, delete this. So even if they, if the key is there, uh, basically in cloud shell, nothing is going to happen. And we are going to have an entry somewhat similar to this one, which you see. And this is going to act as a uh, log of audit log information, which could be helpful, basically. So that's the video which I wanted to share, basically. So how you can implement an auto expiry uh, service account key. Uh, hope you like the video. Do let me know your thoughts and comments in the comment section. Thank you for watching.